Hello everyone, Pixel the Monk here, and welcome to, well, not the Monk Cave today. We are actually in the nether right now, and I have to say, this is looking pretty good. I have completely finished this nether, uh, I guess, lab, you could call it, nether rail system here. Almost 100% complete. I haven't finished off these little sections, but the decorations are 100% done. And I am digging it. So let's look at our book of things to be done for the day. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit more about the nether right now. And I have done a lot of work. I have moved the desert rail, which was over here. And I have moved it to the uh, end over here. It's 100% complete, this nether rail system over here. This one is the start of the dark oak nether system. And I made it with the polished andesite. And I have to say, it looks really good with this texture back. I am digging it. I just don't know what to do for these top, top stairs here. I'm not really sure, but I'll figure that out. But it's looking really, really good right now. The next thing we are going to look at is a mine shaft. So let's go on and head over to that right now. Oh, I have also changed a little something here. I got rid of my slime block elevator because I finally updated to 1.9.4. It's been a while, I know. And the elevator would not work no matter what I did. So I just made this into a very simple minecart elevator. It works a lot faster, much easier. It doesn't create lag like the slime block elevator did. And it poses a problem for my horse elevator. So I'm not sure what to do with this because I like the elevator. But I kind of want like a real entrance to the monk cave, one that's kind of more natural and flowing. Kind of like this here. As you see, it comes from the island into the cave here. And I think that's good for some of it. But for the horses, I'm not sure what to do about that. I'll have to tinker a little bit and see what I can do. Okay, so my mining system that I have down in this direction is a total disaster, a total mess. So, I was thinking I could move it, not only that, but I can make it look really cool. And so I came over here in this direction because this is a really good spot where it just goes directly to the stone on the mountain instead of the dirt. So I added this crossbar in here for now. Eventually, I'm going to dig this all out. <clears throat> I'm going to go about, I don't know, I have it set for like 15 blocks right now, but I might go a little bit farther out. I want it so that when I look in here, it's pretty dark and it is pretty dark for right now. And then maybe have like a, I don't know, maybe like a mine cart and then I just roll on in and then I fall straight down. But then I don't know how to get back up. I mean, there are a few different ways I could with a mine cart. I could create a rail to get back up, but I'm not really sure if I want to do that. I think it'd be kind of cool though. I mean, just like go in a big square, in a big circle, and just keep going up and up and up and up and up until I get up here. I think that that could work. I think that could really work actually. So let's check out my mining system down here. Got a bed just in case. Uh, this is nothing super fancy for right now, but I need to simplify the way I mine. And how I did it <clears throat> over there where I originally have my mining setup is. Uh, it's just not working for me. It's not organized enough, and I like to be really organized when I mine. So I have it really simple. I got a little setup here, which I am going to move somewhere in this direction. And then I just go straight. I go straight. All three of these little sections here, these three tunnels, go 500 blocks. And I've gotten some decent items from that. I think it's worked out really, really well. And I'm happy with the mining system. Uh, eventually, I'm going to move all this stuff to over here because if I mine in this direction, I'm going to eventually hit my other mine shaft and I don't want to do that. So I'm going to create a little mining setup right here and then in these three directions, I'm just going to mine and, and have a good old time with it. So here I am at the castle here and I want to get started on the center. And I was thinking a circular shape with a dome on top not nearly as tall as this, these two uh, towers here. Maybe about right there where I'm pointing at. That will probably be as tall as it's going to be. And I was thinking like a uh, 25 in diameter. Well, someone's been pretty busy. <laughs> uh, I have built the bottom part of the middle building here. 
And I think this is a really good start. I built in the door there. It complements the other two doors. They're the exact same. And I built it up about that high there, which is about 13 blocks up. And I want to add in a two space walkway similar to these buildings here. And then I'm going to start on the next part of the build. So I'm going to head on up to the top here and then we can continue on building and getting this project a little bit closer to being finished at least. So the first thing we are going to do on this build is we are going to create a two block pathway all around the entire thing. That way I have lots of room to maneuver and it will create a little ledge to see out into the distance just like I am right now. Okay, so this is a 29 circle, the bottom here, the very bottom. I want to add in the next circle. Building the circle here, I have found the exact middle and then I have calculated where the exact edge is going to be. And we are gonna have some fun building this thing. So I'm gonna come back to you once I got the circle done and then we can start building up. Okay, so we have completed the inner circle here. Got it 100% done. I'm just filling in these empty holes here so that we don't fall through. And the next thing I'm gonna do is build up. And I have no idea how high up I wanna go just yet because I have to account for not only building up but for building those arches. And I'm having a tough time kind of deciding how tall I should make this because I, I did not want this building to be bigger than this one, but it's gonna be pretty freaking close. <laughs> so let's try, I was thinking five and then the arches. Okay, so here is the arch I think I wanna go with. Let's just keep it really simple, really easy to do so that I'm not spending a ton of time on this build, but it's still gonna look good anyway. So I have made it five wide starting from here. That will clear up the good majority of the space that's gonna be up there. Um, and I think this will look pretty good. My only issue is that with the corners of the build might not work out very well. We are gonna go ahead and add in those arches I just showed you there and uh, we'll come back. Well, I have to say I am digging it. I really, really like how this has come out so far. Uh, as you can see, I got the real big arch up there and then I decided to add in two smaller arches down below it. I also put in corner arches, well, as much as I could anyway. Uh, you can kind of see one right there. There's a start of another one. Uh, but let's head on up. Let's head on up here and check it out a little bit closer. Uh, we are not going to get to the roof today. The roof is going to be made out of spruce wood, just like those ones over there. And it's going to be in a dome shape. And those domes need a little bit of calculating before you do them because they can be quite, quite difficult. As you can see, I did the arches on all the sides here. I think it looks pretty freaking sweet. Here's a side arch. I had in a slab at the top there. And I think this is a really, really cool look, really different. Um, I've never done a, I've never done a domed building before, so the dome part's gonna be very interesting, but we are gonna save that for the next episode. And now, I'm kinda curious as to what to do with this, because I wanna build like a wall around this thing, and typically the entrance uh, for a castle wall would be in directly in front of the castle, but there is this really cool side entrance over here, which I could pretty up and make really cool. And that could be my entrance, but then I still have to build some sort of a wall around this thing. And like it'd have to come from out here and then up the hill. And I'm not sure how exactly I want to do that yet. Or I can just take out this whole mountain here. I don't know, I'm not a big fan of ruining Minecraft's natural landscape too much. Uh, also, I changed all the stone that was here to grass, and that's still kind of growing in there. And that's what I've done so far in this build. I think 
I think we're done. I think we are done for the day at least. The next episode we are going to start on the dome as well as do a couple of other things. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that you did enjoy this video and if you did please hit that like and subscribe button and I'll see you next time.